All the rain from a storm Whoa. combined together into a single drop. You would get a raindrop about the size of half a football field. This would actually be kind of a small storm. Say two inches, 10 square miles, about a medium sized storm. You're dealing with well over a million metric tons of water. So this guy would be little. As it fell from the clouds, <laughs> it would speed up like a meteor. Okay, this thing's not staying intact. The droplet would flatten, break up, or disperse under the extreme air resistance. It would just mist and rain down normally, just faster. And when it finally hit the ground, its massive force would instantly vaporize your body. Okay, I guess if it did magically somehow stay intact, it would be like a splash or mega tsunami, and if it's concentrated in one spot, or leaving nothing behind. <laughs> Now, 50 of these drops would release the same energy as an atomic bomb. Storms release a lot of energy. However, delivery matters. This is gravitational potential energy. Blasting a huge cr- No, energy's gonna disperse differently. It's gonna be more directed horizontally rather than something forming a crater. And no radioactive material, no fission, no fusion for that matter, no fallout- Crater into the earth. And that's because water is not a rigid impactor. Earth craters from solid high velocity objects such as meteors. It would still devastate the impact zone, but it wouldn't form a crater. Maybe if it was grass, it would form an indentation of mud. 